one here from Open Sammy. And I'm in the mag shop about to uh, ship some trading cards. <clears throat> Seen a lot of videos lately. Guys showing their their method on using eBay standard envelope and a, a lot of them I, I feel it's just like overkill. Uh, spending too much time and uh, too much effort to ship a trading card uh, that's under $20. So this is my method. You might take something from it or have some feedback. That's that's awesome. Leave your thoughts in the comments uh, if you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. Subscribe. Um, and we'll get right into it. So I, I go right from eBay. Um, and we'll start with the first one here. It's a Garbage Pail Kid. Actually, this today is going to be all Garbage Pail Kids. Um, this is a single card. It's in a penny sleeve already. It's in a card saver one, which is the uh, recommended mailing, like PSA and then CGC uh, top grading companies in the country want you to ship them your cards in a card saver as opposed to a top loader. Top loader is the problem with the top loaders is that they will crack in the envelopes, especially when they get machined uh, with from the postal service um so basically that's how i do put my card in a penny sleeve put it in a card saver one i use these craft a4 self sealing envelopes you can buy them in bulk and save quite a bit they are a little bit sturdier a little bit more rigid than a regular number 10 um and they don't cost that much more, especially when you buy in bulk. The reason why I like them is you can see I don't tape my card down. It can still move around, but that card's not coming out of the card saver. And I've never had a complaint. I've mailed hundreds, probably thousands by now, um, using this method. And it's uh, easy peasy. So eBay's already got the option for standard envelopes selected I put my thermal label it uh, goes on the ceiling side of the envelope and I do four by three or I'm sorry uh, four by six thermal labels with the zebra LP 2844 And to top it off, I use a little do not bend sticker just on one side. That's it. Go get the next one. And we got uh, another Garbage Pail Kid card. Keep my envelopes handy. Stick it in. Self sealing is. A Easy peasy, purchase the label. Sorry, I got the train going right behind me. That thing comes actually about 10 feet from that wall over there. Don't shake too bad, but it's loud. Okay, here comes another label. Um, a lot of you will complain. I don't know why. I know that this, the zebra, 2844 it's a dinosaur it's old but UPS and USPS used these for years some of them still do if you go into some of the UPS warehouses out in the rural areas they still use this printer you can see mine's discolored and I've printed well over 10,000 uh, labels probably more like 20,000 with that one specifically um, and I usually have a backup just in case they, they rarely ever go down the the biggest thing I like about that printer is that the uh, 
labels are extremely cheap. I buy like a case of these um, four by six thermal labels on eBay. You can get about 5,000 or 10,000 at a time and it uh, saves a lot of money. And some of you might be curious how much it cost me for the like the top loader and then into the card saver along with the envelope, the label, and my do not spend or do not bend sticker and I I think I should have done my research. I'll I'll comment if I'm off by much, but I think it's about 14 cents per uh, per order. And um, on these trading cards, I don't charge anything for shipping. It's costing me 64 cents, so the price is in the you know it's kind of built in. And you can argue about that. People, some people charge a dollar. Some people charge 64 cents for the label or for the shipping. But you know, I'm not. It's it's all good. We're talking about cheap, uh, under twenty dollar trading cards here. But yeah, that's my method. I'll do a few more here. Um, let me know what you think. If this is your first time watching my channel, I hope you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, comments down below, please. I know, like I said, a lot of people are doing this video, but I felt like my method was unique enough or different enough to put it out there and just see what people think. Um, never had, a, I've never had an order that was complained about the my shipping um oh and that's actually that was too you know sometimes ebay misses when there's multiple orders and i gotta combine those two um and since they're oh uh, that's that kind of sucks Usually if I catch it beforehand, I'll put, I will not hesitate to put two cards, especially garbage pail kids because they're so thin, but I'll put two cards back to back in one card saver, two penny sleeves, one card saver, but since I almost do it this way. <clears throat> It's still under an ounce. 64 cents. There we go. And I don't know if this is just me. You guys let me know. eBay never, when I have to do a combined shipping, it never pops the label up. I have to go to manage shipping labels and then I gotta find the last one that I shipped and click reprint label. And then it'll give me the pop up. Okay. So yeah, I got a few more cards here to ship. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm glad you guys are here. Check out my channel for more uh, eBay stuff. I, I do mostly magazines. I do a little bit of trading cards, but um, my little shop here is mostly magazines. You can see. Uh, so if you wanna know about the business of buying and selling magazines on eBay. Check out my channel. Hope you dig it. All right, let's get these ones done.